Welcome back to Tesla Info and following our initial battery degradation video we've had quite a few questions which we're going to try and cover at least some of those in this video. We're going to focus here on really high mileage cars so what happens when you start hitting 150,000 miles and even above. So the first cars we're going to look at are those with the 85 battery which were mainly around well at least in our data 2015 and 2016. We've also gone and found the initial usable battery capacity because um, that's one of the questions many had and we're assuming that the car is reporting usable batteries so we can see the sort of drop. What we're seeing here is you know at 100,000 it's only dropped about 5 kilowatt hours which it's actually quite staggering when you consider the 85 batteries had battery gate and so on. At 150,000 miles it only dropped a couple more kilowatt hours and it was really only at 200,000 miles do you start seeing some batteries fall off. Now of course that doesn't mean to say there's been plenty of battery replacements along the way and certainly some of the results at the top uh, would suggest that there's plenty of cars have had new batteries. And it was only in the last year or two have these fallen outside the eight year unlimited mileage battery warranty. One of the questions is the outliers and we're just looking at the cars with the smallest capacity for the model 85 or the 85 battery. Um, the efficiency figures the cars are reporting don't seem to be out of order. There's a couple of 290s which seems high but overall they're okay. And the temperatures look you know, reasonable as well. These aren't being done at extreme temperatures. Um, which could be explaining or could be the cause of the uh, low battery reported. We've also extended the end of the scale here um, and this is really getting into you know, very small data sets and we can see at 250,000 miles, quarter of a million miles it is starting to drop down again but you know what, how many cars do 250,000 miles? We're going to take another look at, as well at the 90 battery packs. Now these were the ones which you know reported quite early heavy degradation and you know we actually haven't put the number up. In the previous video we reported around 50,000 miles and stuff it was about 2 kilowatt hours better than the 85s but actually by the time you get to 100 and 150,000 miles it's actually started to fall down to about the same level as the 85. So an 85 or a 90 battery long term seems to actually sort of end up about the same level. Unfortunately we haven't got any hyper mile in quarter of a million mile cars. Next we're going to look at the 100 kilowatt hour batteries. Um, these seem to you know in a percentage term have, have actually decreased a bit more than the 85s and 90s. Um, you know at 200,000 miles to only have lost around 15% of the battery is still a remarkable performance. Yes there are a few that have lost more um, but you know this could be down to whether they've been largely supercharged or been abused or the performance models that we've uh, reported on earlier where um, they do seem to suffer slightly worse than the just the regular long range batteries. Another thing we've noticed with 100 kilowatt hour batteries and it's easy to see here because these batteries have been in circulation for a number of years although they have had slight iterations is when you look at the early ones that the spread is fairly tight you know it doesn't they, they don't spread more but as you get to younger and younger batteries um, they're obviously at the high mileage done a lot more work per year um, you know this is a five-year-old car a hundred thousand miles that's you know sort of twenty twenty-five thousand miles a year this one's only four years old a car that's done a hundred thousand miles again is done a lot but what's noticeable is the spread seems to get wider um, they seem to have you know the reported battery capacity uh, isn't clustered as tightly as it is with the earlier batteries if you look at these results for any given mileage they're showing about a five kilowatt hour spread and then if we look at the 250,000 mile sort of range and these are 2017 cars mainly we're actually seeing very little extra degradation compared to where they were at say 250,000 200, miles. Taking a look at the 75 batteries um, we're going to take a look at each year in turn um, one of the questions is whether um, degradation is a function of time or use um, and so by looking at each year we can see the 2016 batteries end up around 62, 63 kilowatt hours at 200,000 miles 
if we then switch to 2017 so these cars are a year younger so they've done the same sort of mileage in one year slit year um, we are seeing a slight diversion um, but the battery is still around probably 74 75 so slightly better at 2018 we're starting to see an increase in separation so the good ones are slightly better again the worst ones are worse so i wouldn't say there was an age element to this or maybe the younger the car the slightly better they are but the harder the cars have worked because the shorter amount of time to deliver those miles if they've been abused they do seem to suffer more we've got a little bit of 2019 data but really not enough to uh, make it worthwhile But if we just pop all the results back on again, it's going to be mainly the older years at high mileage. You can see that again, once you start getting above, well, certainly 150,000 miles, these batteries are hardly degrading. And, and whether that's because, you know, if they, they're they either really good and they don't degrade or they fail, I mean, it may be as simple as that. And if we look at the hypermilers, the 250,000 miles, again, we're seeing the same sort of pattern that they're in the early 60s, you know, 62, 63,000, even at a quarter of a million miles, which we think is amazing. Next, we're going to look at the Model 3 long range. And this actually signals the time when Tesla changed the warranty on the batteries from an unlimited mileage, but with no performance guarantee, to essentially a maximum degradation allowed of 30%, but over a limited miles, either 120 to 150,000 mile limit. We've also got different batteries in the long range. So we're just focusing on the, the earliest ones, 2018, 2019, which had a 72.8 kilowatt hour. That's as best as we can find it. And we can see that by the time it gets to 200,000 miles, you know, it's dropped down to four kilowatt hours. It seems to lose about two kilowatt hours per 50,000 miles each view, take and extrapolate those numbers. Again, a pretty amazing feat. Unfortunately, we don't have any 250,000 mile Model 3s to uh, show you. But let's take a look at the performance models. And this is something that we um, commented on earlier where there seems to be a much wider spread of results. And the clustering doesn't seem anywhere near as tight, which may be a symptom of how hard the cars have been driven. Um, and we can also see when they get to you know hyper miling, you start to see the, the degradation levels increase, you know, starts to fall off. The final set we're going to look at in this video um, is Model Y long range. So this is a younger car, so almost by definition, any car that's getting up to, you know, 100,000, 150,000 miles will be doing 30, 40,000 miles a year. So let's put some numbers on the Model Y, Model y long range. Um, by 150,000 miles, it's lost around 9 kilowatt hours, which is, what, 12%, which is still, still well within the 30% permitted degradation that Tesla offers as part of their warranty, which would equate to around 54 kilowatt hours. So when the warranty buffer is effectively about 23 kilowatt hours or 30%, and you're only losing on average about 9%, Tesla have effectively got plenty of headroom in the in the battery warranty and realistically the only reason why your battery would need to be replaced is if it's bricked um, and not because it's just effectively lost range through degradation.